Well, we heard earlier this afternoon live on our air, Governor Whitmer announcing an extension to her shelter in place order until the end of the month. The move is deemed necessary to stop the spread of COVID-19. But what does continued isolation mean for mental health? Our Carolyn Clifford joins us now to explain. Carolyn. Well, Glenda, you know we hear a lot about the economic consequences of the stay-at-home order, but what about the psychological effects of isolation? We talked to mental health experts for some insight and some coping skills. Because we don't have a timeline of when this is going to be over and so much is people just wondering what's going to happen, um, that's what makes it more difficult for people. Fear of the virus, economic anxieties, and isolation. The last month has been a whirlwind for many Michiganders who, according to Dr. Linda Seltzer Sutcher, are in many ways going through the grieving process. They're grieving the loss of their independence. They're grieving the fear of their loss of their healthy self. They may be grieving the loss of a relative or their ability to be with other people. But with grieving also comes time for reflection and growth. It's building your emotional muscles, making a bucket list of what you want to do in the future that you've said to yourself, when I'm out of this quarantine, what are the things that I really want to do? How do I want to change who I am? The Bloomfield Hills psychologist also points out because we're physically alone does not mean we have to be mentally alone. The internet is our friend. We're seeing the best in people come out too. So many people want to help. There's meditation classes and mindfulness classes. Nutritionists are talking about ways to stay healthy. Another tool, telemedicine. It seems to be going really well. According to Dr. Lawrence Dell, a co-owner of Lakes Urgent Care in West Bloomfield and Livonia Telemedicine, the opportunity to visit with a doctor over video has opened up a lot of doors for medical consultations, but also providing solace for those at home with anxiety. I think the patients like it because they're stuck in their home. This is another opportunity to talk to someone and it's more guidance and answers a lot of the questions. Dr. Dell also recommends for those living alone and feeling nervous, introduce yourself to your neighbors. You can still do this while practicing social distancing and ask to exchange numbers. This step can give you an extra feeling of security, but also bring the community together even from a distance. Certainly a, a great idea, especially right now. Dave? That sure is, and uh, we all need to help each other through this, Carolyn. Thank you.